Okay, in this assignment, we're going to get started with GarageBand. If you don't have GarageBand already in your dock, or maybe down here on the right side of this line is a list of recent items. So it may be here if you've opened it recently. Um, you could just drag it over here. Um, this is preview, and I don't necessarily want it in here, but, but you might have GarageBand sitting over here. So maybe drag it off to the other side. If you don't see it, in your dock you can always find it by opening up this launcher and just going you know from one page to the next and finding it uh, that's one way the other way I like to do is I like to use spotlight which is up here top right corner and just type in GarageBand and when you see it select the actual app you can just hit the enter key that's what I usually do, and I act, and I go one step beyond that. I don't even like to move my mouse up here to the corner. I just do um, command and space bar. Oh, let me clear that search. Hang on. I'm going to get rid of any search. So if you haven't done a search and you do command and space bar, so hold down the command key, hit space bar, you will get this, and then just type GarageBand. And then once I see it, I just hit the return key. So that's all I'm going to do. If you see this message, make sure you click OK. You want GarageBand to be able to use your microphone. When you see this message, you need to click Continue. And then you should get this window. Now, you might accidentally click on one of these others, but we'll talk about those later. Make sure you're clicked on New Project and click Choose. When you see this window, make sure you select Software Instrument. We'll talk about these others later, but for now, Software Instrument and hit Create. All right, the first thing is we want to close this. We don't need this open, so close that right there. And we don't need to see the tips, so we can turn the tips off and then close that window. And now the tips are off. Next, because this is going to take a while, come over to the top right corner and click on Loops. And it may take a while for your loops to index. In my experience, it takes about two minutes. So I'm going to leave this here and speed it up later in post-production. Okay, so for me, this took about six, maybe seven minutes. I will obviously have sped that up. Um, but anyway, so the first thing you're going to do, uh, we're going to, we don't need this uh, electric piano, but we'll delete that later. So up here in the loops, you'll see a search bar. You're going to search for 11 loops. And I'll have a list for you, but you're going to do this for each one. You're going to type the name of the loop. So, for example, the first one is Festival Kick 01. So, and if you want to hear it, you just click anywhere on here. And that's a loop. Please don't change any other settings. We'll talk more about the interface but you need to make sure your settings are all like this. Temples 120, major, you know, C major, 4-4 four, four count, everything else. Don't touch anything else. But you're going to put a heart right here. So make that a favorite. Put a check mark there. And we're going to keep searching. Let me do another search. The next one would be Big Room Snare 01. 01 is the one we want. So this is what it sounds like. And it's just a loop. Click Favorite. Clear that out. And look for Trippy Hat Topper. You don't have to complete typing. You just hit Favorite. Search for the next one. Revered Retro Bass. That's that. Make it a favorite. And so on. I'm just going to search for all the ones you need, and I'll speed it up. Okay, I think I have all of them. When you want to see all of them, you can clear this search field and then click on the favorites. You should have 11. I think I have them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. When you're done with that, take a screenshot. So shift command, hold down the shift key, the command key, and then press the number four. Your mouse will turn into crosshairs, and I just need this area right here. So click and drag 
right up to here. And I want to make sure you've got the, the favorites. And then just click and let go. This, you'll get something like this. And maybe it'll end up on your desktop. Maybe it won't. I don't know. But anyway, you've got that. Now, what we should have done, we should also take care of saving. So I'm going to let that screenshot go. And I'm going to make sure we save this. We need to go to the File menu, choose Save As. And we're going to call this my first GarageBand mix. And this is a small save dialog box. I like to see the bigger version. So click this triangle here, and it'll give you the full version of it. Uh, right now, I happen to be looking at things in columns. So here's one column, two columns. You can change how that appears right here. I prefer a list because I have more control over things with the list. For example, if I want to click on, you know, click on name, if I had a whole bunch of items here, it would sort them all alphabetically. Right now, I'm just going to leave this in the garage. Actually, let's put this in, let's see. Oh, my... Maybe movies, videos, that's where we put in all our projects. Um, actually, desktop is good enough. Let's just do that. This will be called my first GarageBand mix. Whatever. You can leave, leave that extension there. Um, it needs that. I don't know what would happen if you got rid of it, but just to be safe. Put it right on the desktop. There's the screenshot I took, by the way. So leave that here, and you should see, once that's saved, it should take a second, but it's right there. The favorites will be here no matter what. So if you have any other favorites, take them out of the check mark, or take the check mark out of them. Your favorite should only have these 11 items. It even says right here 11. In fact, maybe that would be a better idea. Do the screenshot of that shows me the 11. Nah, who cares? We'll get it. All right, and that's your first part of this assignment.